Well, Maryland Restaurant Week is happening right now. Yes, Marty has a look at some dishes and drinks we can all try. Hello, Marty. Well, hello everyone, and we're sitting here laughing in a good mood. And how, how can you not when you're when you're congregating when you got some fresh food in front of you, a, a seasonal cocktail? But there's an important part of the Restaurant Association of Maryland's Maryland Restaurant Week, and that is getting the word out not only about your restaurant here at the Tillery, your restaurant, but about the Boys and Girls Clubs of Maryland. Uh, Amari uh, Alazier, Alazier, yes, is here with us. Came up from Upper Marlboro, you and your dad. Thanks so much. For 11 years, you've been going to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Maryland. What walked you in the door in the first place? So I started going to a school called Imagine Andrews, located on Joint Base Andrews. And my first time going to the youth center was the first day after school. So I went there, didn't know anyone. I was the new kid at the school. So walked in. Everyone welcomed me with opening arms. And from there, it's just been, they've been family to me. Been family to you. That's a big deal. It provides a family. To in some cases, I mean, dad's over there, but in some cases, someone walks in there alone. Correct, and you know, it becomes that family base, that support system, not only for the kids, but for those families, those parents that don't have that extra support. And that's the whole, you know, point of the Boys and Girls Club mission is to really bring our youth and kids together and support each other. And that's why they're presenting sponsor Restaurant Association of Maryland, Maryland Restaurant Week. It gets the word out. What is the website of the um, of uh, the Boys and Girls Clubs? Um, www.bgcmd. All right, I'll link to that from my blog. Uh, we're with Chef John and uh, Head Mixologist Val here at Tillery. What did you make for us this morning? So these are our restaurant week offering. These are our butternut squash arancini. has a little white truffle, a squash yogurt on the bottom, mm -hmm. and a Parmesan cheese. So it's a simple bite. Locally sourced drink, we like that, Sagamore Rye. Yeah, Sagamore Rye. So my drink is called Farewell Summer, and it's made with a Sagamore Rye, orange liqueur, a nutmeg, orgeat that I made in-house, and lemon, and it's topped with nutmeg as well, and I can store bitter. Man, this looks good. Everybody, grab one. Grab oh. one. Come on, Mark. You say you never had butternut squash. Go find out. <laughs> Mika, get, 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 get yourself on in there. I'm going in. He's he's going. Well, I was getting ready to go. Cheers, cheers. Have you ever, you ever, you ever, you ever, you ever toasted with a butternut squash? I have now. <laughs> oh man. Amazing. That is good. You didn't know something this good could taste this good. I know, right? This is good. I mean, something this good for you could taste this good. What a deal. Restaurant Association of Maryland, Maryland Restaurant Week. Go to the University of Google. And figure it out. And one day I'm going to figure out something else. K2 really appreciates this. Don't eat something while you're doing live TV and you have to talk. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put it back to TV. I want a bite. I know it looks so good. Yeah, it looks yummy. We understand. You had to take. He had to take a bite of that. Of course, we get it. We yeah, get yeah. It. For the rest of us who can't. Yeah. <laughs>